During high school summers, I worked for a local company. They had an incredibly high employee turnover rate defined as the percentage of workers that quit during a certain period. Except for a few managers, their team was rebuilt within two summers. When I asked the company's director why they changed employees so often, he responded he needed to find people appropriate for the job, and that was difficult. Since commissions made up a substantial percentage of the employees' pay, the underperformance was detrimental to both parties. Years later, as a hospitality entrepreneur, I wanted to improve my business and expand. That's when I discovered John Seddon's works. An expert in the field of services, Mr. Seddon created a unique method for diagnosing company problems. His process assessment formula disproves the concept that replacing people solves most problems. Before starting, however, a small favor I would like to ask, if you like this video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button so YouTube keeps showing it to other people. What does systems thinking mean? Systems thinking is a straightforward approach to understanding complex systems and their interactions. Understanding the complete system rather than just the elements is critical when making strategic decisions. Here are three basic principles that help explain how systems work. One systems always have interdependencies. Two there's always a feedback loop. Three the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. A system is made up of pieces that work together to produce desired effects. In other words, systems power your business and they are the interaction of norms and practices, infrastructure, investments and human actions. If each component is a gear, the system is the engine. A system problem is a malfunction in the engine or the gearbox. A system problem is a malfunction in the engine or the gearbox. You now understand why changing your staff won't solve most business difficulties. One gear change cannot fix all engine issues. Systems thinking benefits and leadership. Systems thinking is a framework of analysis that helps leaders understand how various parts of an organization fit together. It's especially useful for managers who oversee large teams in diverse functions. The insights gained from systems thinking can help leaders make better decisions, develop more innovative products and services, and lead more effectively. Systems thinking helps you understand how your organization works as a coherent whole. It helps you see how different elements are connected and affect one another. This view can help you make sense of complex situations and spot opportunities for improvement and ultimately drive better business performance. Colon. How to apply systems thinking to solve underperforming staff problems. The most revolutionary aspect of Mr. Seddon's technique is that it has no intricate procedures or plans. It's all about questions. Questions with simply yes or no answers. When I applied this to my company, I recognized my issues were systemic. Like the local firm that recruited me as a youngster. Try it in your business if you ever have a staffing issue. It may shock you. The systems thinking approach. The first five questions to be asked are about your company's knowledge transfer. One does the person know what is required and what is satisfactory? Two are the correct metrics used. Are the measures relevant to the system's goal? Are all targets transparently assessed? Three are the indicators linked to actual performance. Four do the indicators tell the person what he isn't doing well. Five is there appropriate guidance or support for excellent performance. Are they straightforward? If you answered no to the previous five questions, move on to question six. Six is the system the workflow optimized and waste free. 7. Could such things be constructed better to maximize performance? If you answered no to 6 or 7, you have a method problem, which is a subset of your system. If you said yes to both, keep on. 
8 are their extrinsic motivators, incentives, etc. that encourage people to get the reward rather than do a good job. If you responded yes to this question, you need to restructure your system's incentives and rewards to avoid people gaming the system. If your answer was no, go to 9. 9 would the person fail to perform to excellent standards if his life depended on it, even with ample information, method, and motivation. 10 does the excellent performer appear to know something others don't. Answering yes to any of the preceding questions indicates a knowledge issue. So your problem is a lack of instruction. It may also indicate a poor training design. Remember to train your employees on what the customers want them to know, not just what you believe they should know. If you answered no to question 10, there may be a people problem, but we are not sure yet, so continue to the next question. 11 Does the person need specific abilities, skills, etc. to do the job well? If you answered yes, you have a selection problem, which is quite similar to a people problem. Still, if the selecting procedure is a system component, it should be fixed. If you answered no, go to the last question. 12. Is it impossible or uneconomic to reorganize the job to create a satisfactory fit between performance and ability? If you responded yes to question 12, you have a people problem and thus the employee is not the right person for the job. Following this method will reveal that many of the challenges experienced by entrepreneurs are not about people, but rather systems. Based on my observations, over 90% of issues are systemic. In this situation, you will stop between questions 1 and 11. During my four years as an entrepreneur, I only reached number 12 twice. Only twice I had a people problem. Using this method can drastically reduce employee turnover and allow you to quickly detect system flaws. If you use it, tell me later how it worked. By the way, this is the first video of a series about optimizing small businesses. For the next ones, subscribe to our channel.